We've been here for four years. It's hard to imagine something like this could happen in a quiet neighborhood. Love the neighborhood. Like the one Heather Berg lives in. It just kind of takes the wind out of your sails for a little bit. Two weeks ago, it did. Well, you just don't expect somebody coming through the dog door to break in your house. Heather stepped away one afternoon while her kids were at school so she could run some errands. And when I came home, I unlocked the front door and realized that the big screen TV was missing and our things had been rifled through. The mess led Heather to the kitchen and to her back door where she discovered the doggy door had been kicked in. I think it was just a random act. It seemed sort of random at first until Heather heard about the other neighbor. I wasn't the only one. Whose homes were broken into too. The closest was here, about a block away at the corner of 31st and Julian. It was a very similar situation where someone snuck in through the back doggy door and got away with hundreds of dollars worth of goods. In Heather's case, the thief four thieves got away with a computer and some other electronics. And put everything that they took here in a, a duffel bag, essentially, and went out the back. Luckily, they couldn't lift the TV, so it was saved. Denver police say this isn't an unusual crime. In fact, everyone should be aware of the potential danger. Almost think like the thief. If I was going to break into my own home, what would I do? How am I vulnerable? In all the years she's had it, Heather Berg has never thought twice about her back doggy door. I don't know what else I could have done. <laughs> but after this incident, she says she's going to keep a closer eye on what crawls in and out of it. More break-ins are happening. In Denver, Kevin Torres, 9 News.